after Kenny Everett, many people thought that camp comedy's time had come and gone, but it still lives and breathes with all the variety that is the spice of camp life. Parade of Brent Cross all of a sudden, isn't it? <laughs> uh, by the way, Vera's not a, a Vera Lynn, that's a, a stage name. Her real name's Violet, but she got fed up with called Violin, so she wasn't. <laughs> and, um, You're looking at me funny, what's the matter? <laughs> I thought you wanted a word. <laughs> Go on, chase me, go on, Ben. Here's what's on my shopping list today. A packet of chocolate digestive biscuits, a carton of carpet freshener, and six chilled cheese rolls. Uh, how kind, thank you. Oh, well, they'd never let me on. The reigning queen of camp, is Julian Clary. Unlike his predecessors, Clary is overtly rude and crude, taking the nudge nudge and wink wink out of camp and replacing it with a more graphic form of sexual innuendo. What enables him to get away with this, most of the time anyway, is his angelic appearance. It's like the face of a Botticelli angel with the mouth of Bernard Manning. I don't suppose this fat will be grand enough for you. Oh, no, 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 not too quickly, please. I like a bit of rough now and then. <laughs> Mind you, I do find your three-piece aesthetically displeasing. And I don't think much of your sofa, either. <laughs> Camp comedy relies on a precise calculation of saying the unsayable, wearing the unwearable, thinking the unthinkable, to just the right degree. For me, Messrs. Field, Howard, Grayson and Williams form the alpine peaks of camp, which thrived in more innocent and socially conservative times. The permissive age has resulted in a different kind of camp. Still funny, still entertaining, but different. So as Sergeant William Hartnell never said to Private Charles Hawtrey, carry on camping. I'd like to see anyone take advantage of me? Well, I should love it. Anyway, <laughs> now the moment. No, stop messing about. In fact, the, shut your face, you. <laughs> Rush there. Listen. Drafted air. <laughs> Shut that door. I shall find next Monday or next Tuesday. You're going limp again. Oh, <laughs> next Tuesday. Right foot. Even <laughs> when the darkest stars are in are the in sky, the... you mustn't sigh and, and you mustn't, mustn't cry. cry. Spread a little happiness as you go by. You have a lovely singing voice. Gosh, thank you. Thank you. Wasn't it dreadful? <laughs>